I'm gonna practice bucket drills on the water. He's rearing and ready to go. We have done well on land, so this is his first day on the water. I've got a dead duck and a couple of dummies and bumpers spread out. Uh, Semi-close, because I think he'll do it. Normally I'd set one right next to the bucket. Just a minute. But I'm uh, going semi-close just because I think he'll do it. But I'm going to see. I may have to back backpedal a little bit. But... Achilles. Wait. Achilles. Ay. Find it. So there's the dog. There's the bucket. I think he actually sees the uh, docking glistening in the sun over there, but that's okay. I'll send him again. He's learning to go across, and that's the goal here. Because if you teach them to always go across it, they never find anything unless it's on the other side. Good boy! Good boy! Then, if the duck is halfway across, they'll likely pick up the scent of it on the way to the other side but if you always are doing it just at throw length however far you can throw it uh well what if the duck is on the other side they get accustomed to only going honestly what they can see and and maybe only a third of the way across or so good boy Achilles. good boy good boy so if you get them used to going across um, you know, that expands their search automatically, so. Good boy, good boy. Sit. Good boy. Good. Drop, good boy. Find it. And when I'm telling him to sit, uh, I'm only doing that just because, you know, these drills are still, you know, somewhat new to them. I'm going to have to have him mark the bucket, I think. Uh, I may, I'm going to set the phone down to do that. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here, Achilles. Come here. He'll still have to search for it when he gets over there. But Achilles, Achilles, come here. Come here. Good boy. I'm going to set the phone down. Achilles. 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 Mark. Mark. Go find it. I think he saw it. They'll still have to search, you know, uh, but if they see the bucket, it just gets them in that area. Yeah, he saw it. Okay. Well, I'll say that. He's turning back. I may have to go to shallower water and do this. Um, but anyway, when I'm telling him to sit on his delivery, uh, I'm going to stop doing that here probably today actually, and just see how he responds because telling him, telling him to sit is something I shouldn't do in a test. Uh, you're allowed to give one soft sit command, but that's it. Uh, but he should sit down and present it to you. I think he sees it now. So if he sits down and presents it to you, you know, ideally that'll happen without giving him a command. But uh, um, this is, you know, just part of his training. I'm just kind of doing it as a reminder still. But I'm going to transition away from telling him that uh, shortly. All right, I'm going to try to have him mark the bucket again. Achilles, come here. The bucket is in the shade, so he's looking over there. Pretty sure he marked it that time. Yeah, okay, he's going over there. He's going towards the bucket. So I've got a duck out to the left of it and uh, one or two dummies or bumpers or I forget what I threw out there, but a few different things. I'm hoping he'll pick up the duck so we can use it for a drag here after a while. All right, he's acting, yeah, he's searching. Good boy! 
Good boy. And that was buried in the duckweed, so he definitely picked it up by scent when he got there. Good dog, Gillies. Now I'm going to call this quits for today. He was successful. And I'm going to see if he'll sit and hold it without me telling him to this time. And uh, good dog. And I'll give him a break and do a drag here after a while with this duck. And then we'll see if tomorrow he'll remember to go across and uh, get the, uh, the dummies. Um, a lot of the time they'll remember where they found that duck and they'll go back to that same spot the next time and search it first. It's kind of like when they're pointing birds in the field when they're young, they'll go back to where they last found a bird and try to point that spot and then they figure out it's not there and they have to expand their search some more. Good boy, Gillies! We'll see what he does with this. Good boy! Ah, ah. Fetch! Good boy. Gillies, fetch! Good, good boy. No! Fetch. He was starting to chew it. I thought he was re-gripping, but he was chewing it. Achilles, fetch! Uh-uh! Fetch! Grab his ear. Achilles, uh-uh! No! Achilles! All right, I'm gonna turn this off so we can do a fetch reminder. Good boy! Head up, boy! Good boy! Uh-uh! Fetch! Achilles, fetch, fetch, fetch. All right, I'm setting the phone down. Achilles, uh-uh. Achilles, Achilles, fetch, fetch, fetch. Good boy, fetch. Good. Hold, hold. Good. Uh -uh. Fetch. Fetch, good boy, good boy, good dog, good dog. Hold, 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 uh, hold, hold, Gillies. Drop, had a boy, good boy. Yes, sir, good boy. Here, hang on, buddy. Come here, come here. Uh, 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 uh. Good boy. Ah, ah. Good, good. Ah, ah. Achilles, fetch. Fetch. No. Achilles. No. Ah, ah. Achilles. Fetch. Good boy. Sit. I'm intercepting him. Hold. Hold, Achilles. Giving him a hold command. And I'll explain what I did in a second. Drop. Good boy. And again, I don't like, I don't let them drop it on the ground. I take it from them, but I'm holding the camera here and trying to do treats. Good boy, Achilles. Good boy. What a good boy. Here. Here, bud. I'm going to give him some more. Then we're going to do a happy bumper. Achilles, here. Happy bumper. Happy bumper. Good boy. So what I did when I set the phone down was I uh, I picked up the duck, tossed it, and I pinched his ear, and I told him to fetch it. And he did correct himself. And a lot of times, you know, you can clean that up on the spot. Sometimes it's bad enough you got to go back to the fetch table all over again. I was just doing a reminder with him here. Good boy. Good boy. Ah. Uh -uh. Achilles, fetch. Achilles. Nope. We are going to have to go back to the table, I think. Uh, with, with my so-called happy bumper. I don't really make them deliver these, you know, but out of habit. Uh, I kind of took him that direction with it. I wasn't thinking that I was ending the lesson today. But he defied my command, so I do need to take it back. Good boy. Come here. Here, bud. Here. Good boy. Good boy. He grabbed the duck on his own, and we'll see what he does. Hold. Hold. I see him loosening his grip. Hold. Good boy. Drop. 
Good boy. What a good boy. Okay, happy bumper. Happy bumper. Happy bumper. All right. Mental note to myself, I'm not going to make him deliver it. If he does, I'll reward him. If he doesn't, I'm not going to punish him. not going to give him a fetch command. Happy bumper is end of the lesson, and it's all fun and games. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Here, happy bumper. Happy bumper. Here. Here, Achilles. Here. Happy bumper. But anyway, uh, and again, when what I was saying before I interrupted myself was, I don't make him, good boy, what a good boy, Keely's good boy, good boy. Here, good boy, good boy. Uh, don't like them to drop stuff on the ground. Here, bud, here, 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 Keely's here. Good boy. Uh, because, you know, if it's the game is still alive, you don't want it to have a chance to escape. Come on, bud, here. And if he'll carry that duck, this is good for his training. I didn't tell him to fetch it, but he picked it up. As long as he doesn't eat it, if he eats it, I'll get on to him. But he's just carrying it. A lot of times, fur and feathers. Good boy. Come on, bud. Fur and feathers. Nope. Over here. Achilles. Our kind of uh, regrip. Regrip is okay. Good boy. And he's holding it mostly nicely. You want him to hold it in the middle. Come on, bud. Over here. Good boy. He's holding it towards the lower third, but that's all right. Uh, good boy. He's got a firm grip. It's not too firm. Um, but, Achilles, come here. But this desire to carry game around uh, is great because a lot of times they, they're they not comfortable. <laughs> He's going to the fetch table. Good boy, Achilles. Come here, bud. Come here. They they find it kind of uncomfortable in their mouth. It's just a sensation that, you know, they, they don't care for too much. Good boy! So him carrying it around like this is really great, and especially for the, the drags, you know, it gets him comfortable to doing it. So since he's interested in doing this, I'm gonna let him carry it for now. I'm not gonna let him eat it, though. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Kelly's come here, bud. But anyway, so as long as he was able to mark that bucket, Achilles, over here. All right, that pen with game in his mouth is a possess possessive issue. Come on, bud. But that's all right. As long as he gives it to me and he knows that ultimately it's mine uh, when I ask for it. Um, I don't care if he pees. Good boy. Get all these other dogs riled up. <laughs> He's got to go show off. Good boy. Got the hair raise on his neck, so it's my turn to take over. Achilles, come here. Ah, ah, ah. Sit. Good. Drop. Good boy. Good boy, Mr. Achilles. Good boy. Here. Good dog. What a good dog, Achilles. Here, bud. Here. Achilles, sit down. Sit. Good boy. What a good boy. So when he was able to mark the bucket, he did well. He did, he did uh, swim out there. He did have to search a little. The duck wasn't right next to it. So he picked up scent, you know, and, and part of, you know, these searches is using their nose. Uh, you know, they can't rely completely on it, just like you don't want them relying on sight. But, uh, you know, it, it all comes in together. And he did find it, he did bring it back. And so I'm proud of him, it was a great lesson. And like I said, a lot chances are tomorrow he'll remember uh where he found it and he'll go straight back over there not always but uh, a lot of time that does seem to be the case so uh, anyway start a bucket drills on water and uh usually just for uh, anyone starting out i usually start with a narrower area than i did today um I kind of pushed him a little bit today just because I thought he could do it uh, just from working with him. Um, but, you know, don't don't expect leaps and bounds overnight. Start small, baby steps. Uh, make it a progression, a gradual progression, and uh, the dog should get the hang of it uh, pretty nicely and pretty easily. Um, so very, very small steps, and uh, praise every small accomplishment like it's the biggest thing they've ever done, and uh you should uh you should do all right good boy Achilles. so i did the 
bucket drills on water with Achilles today and um, I always go back and watch my own videos after I make them because uh, <laughs> a lot of the time um, we are the ones who need the training um, the dogs are way smarter than we are and um, sometimes I, uh, we I I think we all don't realize everything we do when we're training and one thing is uh, you know talking too much when I went back and saw how many times I had to say fetch to Achilles uh, when he was giving me a fit with that duck after uh, retrieving it out of the water um, I shouldn't have to tell him that many times now he's still in training uh, but he knows fetch. He knows what it means beyond a shadow of a doubt. Um, what I should have done is just quit filming, made it a lesson. But, you know, I, I, everybody films their dog when they're acting perfect. Uh, <laughs> but no dog is perfect from the start. So, you know, I think there's value in seeing, you know, other people's struggles with their dogs you know this is why we train so um for me to show you guys what i was dealing with i think is valuable you know to somebody else um but me going back and watching it i'm realizing you know what i really told him fetch too many times for a dog that knows that command and i know for a fact he knows that command so what i should have done is camera aside um pinched that ear made him grab it and you know one fetch command should do it maybe two but you know what did i you know six or seven times so um i'm just throwing that in there um if he's not listening the first time he's not going to listen the seventh time um now ultimately he did correct himself but you know i threw it a couple of times uh which you didn't see on the camera is when I had set the cam the the phone down, and I, I had thrown it, you know, and it just kind of it makes him go get it again. So I'm giving him a fetch command again, but when he drops it, and I'm telling him to fetch, 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 and it's under his face, um, that's just defiance right there. Now some of it may be the fact that it's uncomfortable in his mouth. You know, the duck is cold, it was frozen. You know, maybe it wasn't completely thawed. You know. I mean, ultimately, it shouldn't matter, but for a dog in training, you know, these are all things that, you know, we work through. And, and again, this is why we train, because we find these problem areas and we can work on them. Uh, but just wanted to kind of, uh, you know, recap and, and, and just say that, tell him to fetch six or seven times when he's not doing it the first time isn't going to solve anything. And... And if grabbing his ear isn't doing it, um, it's time for me to set the phone down um, and really lay hold of that ear or just go back to the fetch table. Um, if I continue to have these problems again tomorrow or you know what in a few days when I train him again, I don't train every day on the water necessarily, but uh, if I continue to see these problems, I'm just gonna give him a break and go back to the fetch table clean it up and then revisit this you know I, I may still work on his searches with bumpers because bumpers he does great there's no problem there but it's this duck i think it's a texture thing um but it you know it might not be um because he did want to you know pluck it and play with it for a little bit so you know these are just things we work through um sometimes like i said earlier you can clean them up on the spot sometimes it takes you know stepping back and revisiting and just making triple sure that they understand what you want first of all uh and then if it ends up you know you're just convinced it's rebellion um okay then it's time to deal with that and uh you know that's time to put that pressure on that ear again and there's some other things you can do you can put them in his crate and you know set that duck in front of his crate or whatever but we're not at that point right now and if it continues, you know, if we continue to have problems, I'll try to film that and you can kind of see how we deal with that too. So anyway, just wanted to kind of 
give an overview of what was going on there and, uh, uh, you know, and, and my own mistakes is having a conversation with them and not applying the pressure. So, anyway...